Hi folks, Kevin here. How are you doing today? Well, it's a little gloomy out here today. Uh, two days ago, I posted a video that was uh, a swale cut in, uh, a drainage swale cut in that I needed to place. I had water runoff from our Zone 1B gardens draining into the driveway, and actually the water would come across the, across the slope, go across two different driveway sections, go into the secondary, uh, the tertiary canal, and head out back into the uh, first food forest. And it was going along the roadways uh, through that whole process. So I posted a video showing how I was using uh, Bumblebee, my mini excavator, to do a, to cut in the initial cut, the initial uh, construction of an earthworks making a drainage swale. Now this isn't like other swales that we talk about in permaculture. We typically talk about swales being on contour, meaning that they're following the same level line on the property. And I haven't followed that rule on many of the swales around here because of existing structures that were already in place. But the important element of the, most of the swales that I do is that the base of the swale is absolutely level. So it allows the water to, uh, to you know, capture the water, uh, slow it down, spread it, and allow it to sink into the uh, soil surfaces. But the cut-in that I did the other day was to redirect the runoff from the garden areas and from the mulch and, uh, and compost area and direct it into a, the first or the second canal system, which is a bioremediation system, which I posted a video about, I think it was yesterday. So what I thought I'd do is, since it snowed yesterday or it snowed this morning and we got rain uh, today, I thought I'd go out, shoot a little bit of video. It came out okay. Uh, the camera got really wet, so I wasn't able to see the spot that I was looking at, but you can actually see that the driveway didn't have streams running across it and the water was being redirected into the canal system the way that I wanted it to be. Now two points and and I also before you see that video I show a little bit of the video of me dressing up the area. Now I had made the pile in the video the other day and you could see where I had piled up the, all of the soil that I was taking out of the uh, where I was doing the cut in and then I moved that out uh, that evening and did some other things and then yet, uh, yesterday I went ahead and filmed a little bit of me smoothing out the area and pla placing some mulch right adjacent to the area. Uh, I wanted to smooth it out because I knew we'd be getting snow and rain today and I didn't want it to pool too much although there is some pooling as you can see. So when I do a, a, a use the excavator or use the tractor and all, most of the time we try not to use those pieces of equipment right after a rain or during a rain. Mainly because we make more of a mess. We put in ruts, you could get stuck, you have water collection spots in those spots and everything gets real muddy, more work to clean out the tracks of the equipment and all. However, there's some certain situations that I do use it. So when I did the cut in uh, two days ago, I used that little bit of water that was trapped in the system to establish my a, a, a gradual slope and, and again it is a drainage swale so I could see as I was working my way along without having to get on and off using a laser level to see just where I was and try to drop it an inch every few feet so it worked out well and so I got it set and yesterday when it was relatively dry I smoothed things out some brought the mulch in and today I went out and filmed it. Now there will be two more uh, parts of finishing up this, this uh, drainage system. One, I'll reshape the area to dress it up so it's very gradual tapering to each side of it, but still means, maintains the base level that's, that's below the level of the surrounding area to direct the water where we want it to go. But I, this is, goes across one of my access roads that allows me to get up high where the large composting is being done relatively high in the property property. And it's important that it's done up there because I've cleared an area just for that and because that's, a, that's an area that fertigation will happen where I'll use the water runoff that actually comes off of the compost and put it into swale systems and a canal system that I briefly mentioned in this uh, video. So 
Without any further ado, there won't be any talk after this, just a little bit of the, the nature sounds that I recorded a few days ago, and the excavator and tractor work and all, and then looking at the end of it, seeing where the water is actually running. So if you think this video was worthwhile, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know you, what you think about some of these videos. A lot of the work that I do around here is kind of boring to watch. And I understand that. But I think some of you may be interested in how I go about it and the phases that I go through. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much, folks, and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye now.
So I'm outside right now and it's raining and uh, this is a swale cut in that I made the other day that drains over into the canal system. Uh, it joins the secondary canal system. So I'll turn back for a second. Along the driveway here, remember these are all two, deep, uh, two feet deep composts and uh, mulch systems. This one was uncovered all winter, so it's completely saturated with water. So the water that comes out alongside of the road access way here going out back, there's water that, that weeps out of the mulch, makes its way down. There's a gradual slope all the way coming down from the garden, the Zone 1 Gardens here, and it gradually comes out here as well. The first thing I'll note is there's almost nothing going across the driveway. I'm trying to cover up the camera since it's raining here. And uh, almost nothing. There is small amounts of accumulation here on the surface. And now, let me get across here. There's a small amount of water weeping out of this area here. Right now I'm near where the lavender patch is, near the eagle. And now although that may not look like very much, geez, my camera's all soaking wet here. Not sure. I can't even see on my screen. <laughs> so I don't know that it looks like very much at all, but this is the amount of water that would have been going down the road, going out back, or going across the driveway over there and contributing to the water that's going into the canal there, where I've diverted it back into uh, the canal system that joins Pond 3. Now this water is coming, uh, and, it, and the other thing I'll say is, if you look at the water, let's see, it's pretty darn clear because the amount of sediment from the area that I just cleared out is pretty darn good. You'll see sand. I don't know if this is going to show up down there. <laughs> There's sand deposit along in here because we're predominantly a gravel bed area. And, uh, and I've got a lot more work to do. This was the first cut in. I removed the, the, all the fill that I took out. Spread some mulch over in the area that's where some of the flowers are. And this drains the canal system that's next to the uh, Hugo Culture Terrace here. And this is like a moat that goes around the house. And this is my soil building, another slow soil building system here, uh, which I'll go over in another video. So I'm, camera's getting wet, so I'm going back in.